This technology could revolutionize backpacking gear, specifically top quilts and sleeping bags. Over the past decade at Outdoor Vitals, I've dedicated an immense amount of time and energy to developing the best sleeping bags and top quilts. Since insulation is by far the biggest and most critical component of these pieces of gear, I've spent considerable time, money, and countless nights outdoors researching, testing, and working with suppliers to develop the best insulations available for our sleep systems. In the early days of this channel, you might have seen me soaking sleeping bags in creeks or with hoses in my backyard and then sleeping in them. You've seen me test new unproven bags in sub-zero temperatures and subject them to other forms of torture to see how well the designs held up. But today, I have a new revolutionary treatment to discuss with you. For me, this last decade has really been about two things. First, DWR treatments on down and finding the best one, and second, finding a good synthetic insulation that can mimic down by being loose fill and stable, like Loftec insulation. Both innovations have helped me address the age-old problem of down collapsing when it gets wet. But the truth is, this is a bit of an irrational fear. In fact, it was my irrational fear. I was so worried about down getting wet and it failing that I created jackets and top quilts using Loftec insulations that wouldn't fail even if they got soaked. And over 10,000 of you must have shared the same fear because you bought that jacket. However, the reality is that no synthetic insulation so far has been able to match regular old down in terms of loft warmth and its ability to be light and compressible. Plus, time has shown me that down is not likely to fail from getting wet, at least not as much as I once had thought. I started experimenting with different blends of Loftec and down, and what I discovered is this. It's extremely, and I mean extremely hard, to wet out down. You literally have to hold it underwater and compress it in order to get it to soak in or leave it soaking in water for hours for that to happen. The more I tested it, the more I realized that getting a sleeping bag soaking wet to the point of failure is highly unrealistic in the field. So much so that it became a non-issue for me and my fears of it faded away. But through that testing, we discovered something important. If your down somehow did get completely soaked, just a trace amount of Loftec insulation mixed into the down could prop that up and allow it to re-dry from your own body heat in the field. This led us to develop some of the most incredible products using what we call Down LT, a blend of mostly DWR treated down with a little bit of Loftec insulation that gives you a net fill power of 800. So if this blend works so well, why did we need anything else? Well, there are downsides with DWR treatments and yes, pun intended. When you treat down with DWR, two things happen. First, you have to wash off the natural DWR that the down already has in order to apply the synthetic treatment. Ducks and geese already have a natural DWR in the forms of oils and coatings, which help them float, stay dry, and not absorb water so that they can fly away. Removing it to bond a new synthetic DWR isn't ideal. Second, DWR treatments reduce fill power. We typically have to start with an 830 fill power down to make sure that after it's been coated, it still tests over 800 fill power. So it's not efficient or optimal. These reasons are why brands like Western Mountaineering avoid DWR treatments altogether, claiming that natural down oils offer more longevity. And yes, clearly there are negatives to the treatments, but they did work especially in laboratory testing facilities. What I found personally is that DWR treated down brings me a lot of peace of mind as I've seen it perform really well in direct contact with water. However, in real world scenarios, the most realistic case of water coming in contact with your sleep system is inside your shelter, like coming in contact with condensation on your tent your body sweat, or other wet gear soaked from the rain. That gradual contact with water in real world situations is where we've seen DWR lose performance. After a few days in the backcountry, especially in more wet or humid conditions, I've seen DWR treated down lose loft. By day three of hiking in these wet conditions, the loft of my top quilt might be down by about 15%. And by the end of a week, maybe 20%. Of course, these are estimates. Whatever the real numbers are, I can confidently say that the wet and multi-day conditions on the bags don't allow it to return to 100% loft. This is important since it's loft that keeps us warm. But that level of performance was the best that we had for years, until now. 
For about the last two years, my team and I have been testing a new permanent treatment for down called Expedry. Named for its effectiveness in expeditions, this new treatment infuses real gold particles into the down and it doesn't require removing that natural DWR from the down to do so. This treatment allows the down to dry faster and more thoroughly than DWR treated down. Essentially, the gold particles infused in the down excite the hydrogen atoms in H2O or water, causing the water to more easily evaporate stay in vapor form longer, and turn back into vapor form more easily. This allows moisture to pass through the bag or quilt's fabric and dry faster and more effectively, rather than getting trapped inside the bag in liquid form. During R&D, I took this insulation into some of the most wet conditions I have ever experienced while backpacking. Every single night, my sleeping bag dried fully and relofted to 100% powered only by my body heat. In the field, this insulation works. Plus, its ability to dry more thoroughly prevents the loss of loft caused by micro mold that can and will develop when moisture is trapped inside of the down. And guess what? All of you through hikers out there who see your bag slowly lose loft over time, this insulation will help tremendously with that. So is this the perfect treatment on the perfect insulation? I don't know what will be developed in the future, but what I can say is this is the best thing that I've tested in the last decade of dedicating my life to this. Perhaps another decade down the road, we will find the next development, but for today, it's a huge step forward and what I'm choosing to take into the backcountry. If you didn't know, this insulation is now available in our newly refreshed, best-selling Stormloft top quilt, where we've updated the baffle structure, created channels to hold the neck drawstring out of your face, and much more, while leaving you with what you love about the quilt, which is that self-sealing, draft-free nature. If you want to learn more about the top quilt or this revolutionary insulation, click the link and read up. With that, I will see you guys out on the trail.